I don't know what I want to play, but here's the problem. I need to play something. I made this whole YouTube channel about playing games and shit, and um, I'm completely at a loss about what I want to play. I think I found a solution to my problem. I've been holding off Persona 4 for a minute. Not sure why, but I can at least say that it is appealing to me at this very moment. Um, so fuck it. Why don't we dive right into it? Ain't nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, I've been telling myself I was gonna play it for a long time. You know, I've been, I've never played it before. I don't know what happens in it. Maybe me recording my reactions to it would be interesting to say the least. No. I don't want to connect. I don't want to connect. So let's just get right into it, man. Let's play some Persona 4. Let's play Vita. Persona 4 Golden. This will certainly be entertaining. Shut up. This is beautiful let's get into it I'm, I'm hyped now i'm officially psyched i'm officially official with this shit whoa very pretty press any button there's enough work 2012 almost 10 years ago i think the original the ps2 version might even be older than that be accurate. Um, various TV shows. What? Various TV shows? Oh, my brother might. He played this shit, so he might have had uses the calendar. Maybe that's what that means by TV shows. No, I don't want to do that, no. Please select difficulty for starting the game. Fucking, let's go hard, baby. Let's do it. I'm not gonna go very hard, though. I'm feeling a chub on this one. I'm feeling a semi-hard. I'm not feeling the really hard. You know what I mean? I guess a chub would be normal, but I'm feeling a very... Very hard be too much hardness. I'm not, really, I'm not prepared for that. Just, just hard. Just normal hard. Just, you know. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll be playing New Game Plus, too. For sure. No, I'm just kidding. Well, relax and have fun with the game. I'm hyped. I'm, I'm hyped, man. I'm excited. This looks cool. I love Persona 5. I've beaten it, like, several times. I have yet to play this, so I'm, I'm very excited. Pretty lady. 
the Velvet Room. It seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. I love your enthusiasm, Igor. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Bro, <laughs> Igor been smoking that fucking loud pack. Look at his eyes, bro. Now then. Talking about fate. Why and shit. don't you introduce yourself? Eyeballs red as hell. My name. It's, uh, I don't want to put my name. Here's the thing. When I know a character has a name, I don't want to put my name. It's weird. They refer to me the whole time that way. Uh, but I guess for the sake of this, it's cool. Fuck it. I mean, the dude has a name in this. I know he has a name in this. But the thing about it is, is I don't know. No, 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 six, no six, come on, no, no, I'm fucking up over here, oh my god, somebody give me some water, oh wait, I got some, of the playthrough, I'll just put my name, so, you know, we can just carry on that way. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Hmm. I name, see. Look, the guy's the actual name is like you. Is it you? I think it's you. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? Yes, please. Do you believe in fortune telling? Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. I don't believe the fortune telling, by the way. <laughs> but maybe in this instance, if this guy was telling me, I would. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? It does. That's true. Tower of Babel, something. Hmm. Ooh, I was correct. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. That don't sound good. We try to avoid terrible catastrophes. The card indicating the future beyond that is... Tell me. Tell me, Igor. <gasps> I don't know what that one is. The moon in the upright position. The moon. This card represents... A hesitation and mystery has very interesting indeed hey, it seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination and a great mystery will be imposed upon you that sounds like fucking really in the coming days shit. you will enter into a contract of some sort after which you will return here Contract. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I don't want that. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Let's try to avoid it, if possible, Igor. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. Yes, you did. Yes, please. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. It's nice to meet you, Margaret. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. Okay, that sounds good to me. You have no no problems there. We should attend to there. the details another time. 
Yes, another Until time. Until then. Yes, please. Farewell. Another time. Let's hang out. Let's all hang out. You guys seem cool. You guys got drinks? A uh, limo? Yeah, it seems like a good time. I'd like to come back here. What the fuck? We're already getting into it? Wait. What is happening here? Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing yeah, there's something too. even I can handle. Yeah, fuck, <laughs> fuck that. Fuck going to the gym. Slim down this summer oh, it's with a the commercial. refreshing taste of calorie magic. I was like, what the fuck is happening here? And we're back. <laughs> now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. Juicy <laughs> news? Yeah, first he bags on a singer, juicy then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what There's do you think? Look at this total fucking king over here. Well, I'm sure that you like all know there, already. Look at, he looks like at a the dork end now. of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Oh, oh they love this guy. Total Quiet fucking down, guys. king, not man. Done yet. He's like, fuck, I gotta go to this fucking new place. There's new fucking people. Don't know shit about me. Damn, he looks so fucking bummed. He's so depressed. He's like, damn, I have to leave all my hoes. We will arrive at the Yasugami terminal <laughs> in a few minutes. Passengers headed for Inaba City like, what the fuck is this? at Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. <laughs> the scandal involves the Enkistar Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council right. secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer, Ms. Should Mayumi we go Yama. soon? Yeah, it's just about. The question on everyone's mind is how this show. love triangle will affect. Ooh, love triangle. That didn't look good. Thoughts and prayers. Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. All right. Oh, I'm fucking excited. This looks great. Hey, over here. What's up, man? Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Hey, you flatter will get you everywhere. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Ryotaro Dojima. Let's see. I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. So you're my uncle? <laughs> Why did you say it like that, bro? Um, if you're my mother's brother, then I'm assuming we've met before. So it would be the correct thing to say, it's been a long time. I'll say, you've really grown. Yeah, so we know each other. I still remember when you were in diapers. Hey, shitting in diapers, man. We all do it. This here Speaking is my of daughter. shitting in diapers. <laughs> Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. Oh, you're a little one. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh oh. What are you so shy for? She's shy. Ow! She spanked his ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, give me that ass. Well then, let's get going. He's like, can I bum a cigarette My off? My car's you? over there. Hey. Uh oh. Got girlfriend incoming. You drop this. Unfriendly looking girl. Straight punk. Thank you. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. Is that the same voice actress who did? She sounds like uh, Heather in Silent Hill 3. 
I swear to God, that's the same voice actress. Or maybe I'm tripping. I could be tripping. Talk some more on friendly looking girl. What's wrong? Don't, please don't go. Please don't go. Please don't go. Okay, <laughs> I gotta go too. Fucking beat. Interesting town in the mountains. Central shopping district, gas station. Oh, I know about living in a small town. Everybody goes to the gas station, hang out. Everybody gets the ice cream cones. Everybody eats the gas Hi. station food. Welcome to Mall. They about ran that motherfucker over. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? So she's like little, little. It's in the back to your left. Is he gonna, he gonna pump you know the which gas? way's left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I know. Jeez. <laughs> Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. The big city, the Big Apple, New York City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I came from New York City. The city, huh? Yeah, the city. Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good is this a little boy? A yeah, good time as any for a smoke. Can I bum a cigarette off you, please? Are you in high school? No, I'm, a co I'm in college. Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do. I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. <laughs> yeah, probably. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Well, sign me up. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. And I don't mind that you're an asshole. Coming on to me with this job offer. <laughs> How dare you? Oh, I should get back to work. Yeah, you should. You have a little boy's voice. That is like, or unless you're just, you might just be a woman, actually. I didn't even consider that. Are you okay? No, I'm very not okay. The smell of gasoline is getting Did to my head. Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. I'm really hungover. <laughs> I had a going away party. I had to leave all my friends behind. I feel a little dizzy. What's wrong? You need you to okay? give me a smoke, man. That's what's wrong. I just felt like it. I'm just tired. I'm just tired. I'm just tired. Fuck, I'm just tired. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. It was a Why long not take trip, a little man? walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. That sounds like a great, a great. Idea. Take a walk and get some fresh air. The shopping district is near the house, so you should get to know where all the stores are. Ooh. That's some shit right there. I like that. Help examine the blue butterfly to save your progress. What's up, girl? Huh? You literally just saw me. Yeah, I literally just, I met you literally just now. What are you doing at the station? You don't have anywhere to go. Are you fucking homeless? Okay, well, whatever. You're clearly on that dope. Let's see what's going on. This is a book It's fairly good.
something to do in that shopping district. It's a bit run down, but we have everything here. It used to be a lot more prosperous back in the days, but we only see regulars nowadays. If only June's hadn't come to town. It's convenient, but it's a little sad. Um, that's his life. Fish looking man, single mind like pounding on something in the back of the store. What are you pounding on, bro? Somebody tell me. Somebody let me know. Fix my fucking. Somebody let me know. Somebody let me know what he's pounding on, man. I would probably decide not to enter too. It sounds like he's going to town on something. I don't want to even see what's going on. It's the Mari Marukiu Tofu Shop. I tried my best. An old woman is tending the store. I mean, this old woman? Damn, look at that. Damn, lumbar out the motherfucker with that old lady. These must be students, man. Hey, do you know what my snack went? I had, I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? No, it wasn't leftovers. I was making sure to save it for later. Oh, really? Sorry about that. Well, I'm going to work. See ya, bitch. What? I was really looking forward to eating. They seem to be having a sibling dispute. You should leave it. Like, I mean, how do we know they're siblings, man? I literally just came over here. A variety of products, lines, and shorts. A friendly looking old lady sits behind the counter. Out of town, mm -hmm. I like this shop. It's very nice. It's convenient. It's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. There's a delicate balance. I don't know if that's a good thing, though. Oh, well. Sure. It's country life. What are you gonna do? Internet, you, you probably gotta do the satellite internet out there. It's fucking shit. Oh, okay, so we save the butterflies, we save with the butterflies. There's something missing, let's see, let's go further down. Hmm. Well, this fucking song, though. Can I go this way? Oh, sorry. Lazy student. Damn, the next bus is going to come for a going to come for a while, and if you miss one bus, you're pretty screwed. Oh, if only I had a motorbike, I could go anywhere I wanted, anytime I wanted. It's gonna be cool, and the girls would love me because I can drive motorcycles. I wonder how much they cost. Maybe I'll buy one myself. Maybe man, just work hard at it, and you know it could happen. Uh, actually, not yet, not yet, not yet. I want to see this one. Let's go. You arrived at the Dojima residence. For the next year, this place will be your home. Afternoon, evening. Yeah, we getting into it. Family festivities already, right. I see. Let's have a toast. I got the full spread, full spread of sushi. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? Yep, mm -hmm. New York City, baby. I already told you. I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? It's rough being a kid. Damn right it is. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. I will do my best. Thank you for your kindness. <laughs> Come on, there's no need to be so formal. Oh yeah, Look, you're right with family. <laughs> you're making Nanako all tense. 
sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, anyway, let's eat. Yeah, we got the full spread, man. Where's the soy sauce, dude? Where's the soy oh, sauce at? Who's calling at this hour? Just on the side, though, bro. Dojima speaking. Mm hmm. Yeah? If he, hey, see. if he fucking leaves, I'm, I'm gonna So where is it? Sushi. Uh huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. No, you made the wrong choice. Sit your ass back down. Let's eat our dinner, bro. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. All right, but leave your. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. You poor girl. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? The laundry? I already brought it in. All right. I see. Well, I'm Good job, off. Dojima. Putting her to work. Do the laundry. For this week. Let's turn on cartoons, Next, man. Let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, Expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. You might want to strike up a conversation. What does your dad do? He investigates stuff. Like crime scenes. So he's a detective? My dad's a detective. Okay, cool. Now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for Taro an alleged Namatame. relationship with a female reporter. Under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. Damn, bro. That's the wife you cheated on? In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Holy shit. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain She's off reporter? the air and out of the public eye. She was on her with a reporter? Is that what happened? This is boring. I feel like it's relevant. <laughs> At Juness. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see Juness? for yourself and get in touch with our products. Not Junes. Every day is great at your Junes. Every day is great at your Junes. Yeah. Get into it. Aren't you going to eat? I told you, I'm going to eat the, the whole spread. I'm going to eat your dad's portion. He ain't going to have any leftovers. What's going to happen? Every day is great at your Juness. Okay. Save the game with the telephone. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm liking the feel. I'm liking the feel of this uh, house. It's cool. It's got like a rustic 70s feel. Everything's wood. <laughs> Everything's wood. It's colored brown. What's up? Oh, um... Okay, yeah, so, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your, what do you, I mean, what are you watching? That's what I mean, though. What are you watching here? You're watching a quiz show? You're fucking bored. Jesus. You got a box of Cheez-Its on the counter, I see. <laughs> they look like Cheez-Its. Is there a beer? Is there some fried rice? Eat it. Uh. Nah, I mean... We, we, we just had a bunch of sushi. That'd be selfish. I don't know whose that is. Because it isn't used very often. The kitchen is organized. If there were ingredients in the refrigerator, you might be able to make lunch. But we have no ingredients to it. Okay, so that's how you leave. Alright, 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 alright. This is the room you're borrowing from Dojima. Pretty chill. I like it. Um, 
Anything we can do? No, I'm not trying to go. I don't want to go to sleep here. I want to look at the room a little bit. I can't. I just want to see. Hey, man. Come on, man. Hey. It's like Persona 5 all over again. You'll be living in town one year. You wonder if everything will be all right. If school starts tomorrow, you should hurry to bed. If school starts tomorrow, why was I like already in my school uniform? Oh shit. Oh Lord, oh Lord. This is, the area is covered in a thick thaw, 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 <laughs> thaw. All you can do right now is proceed forward. I don't know where I'm at. Okay. Goes on for a while, huh? Shit's busted. Do you seek the truth? You heard someone's voice. I, I do. I seek the truth. I seek the truth. I'm a believer. If it's the truth you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from up ahead. Okay, I do. I seek the truth. I swear I seek the truth. I'm a truth seeker. You sent someone ahead. Will you continue? Yes. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. We into it now. So you were the one pursuing me? Hmm. Trial you like? I wasn't where I was doing anything. First and foremost. Before. You're gonna get hit with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hmm. It seems that you can see a little spike before. You're gonna get hit with that. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. I see indeed. That is very interesting information. You're a little asshole. Take some of this. I hate like that. Hmm? But you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is true, then your search will be even harder. You will be involved. You bastard. Surroundings are covered. No, well, I'm a guard because he's gonna do some bullshit. Everyone sees they want to, and the fog only do. He's gonna do some shit. Okay, I made a good call though. You can hear someone's breakfast voice. ready. It's almost time to get up. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? You're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Toast. Anime style. Okay. Let's eat. Thank you. Did your father go to work? There was some kind of trouble. You won't be back. Oh no, again? You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. That sounds good. Back to them beats, man. Back to them beats. School zone, Samigawa flat. It's raining, it's pouring, the beats are You keep riding. going straight from here. Keep going straight from here. My school's this way. Bye. Okay, you have a good day at school, uh, Nanako. School zone, 
intersection in front of the school. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You look like you hit your nuts, man. Are you okay? Oh, you got hit in the nuts, man? Oh, man. In the nuts? Oh, man. Man, you got hit in the nuts, man? Oh, man. Oh, oh man. I'm oh, sorry. With your bike? Man. I'm just gonna leave you be. <laughs> you arrived at the main gates of Yosagami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? I'm curious myself. I'm curious myself. <gasps> hey, it's been I a while. So Good morning. morning. Yeah, it turns I out that study at all your lips. Ah, talk about <laughs> bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Moraoka. Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. King Moron. We get to enjoy his long ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard Preach, there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. It's always a transfer student. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? Straight up dude, homie. A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Yosuke. Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. Damn, you must have straight up ball busted your shit, bro. How are you going to make it through the day? What's with him? Who knows? <laughs> I mean, he busted his nuts. Y'all don't know that thing. All right, shut your trap. Damn, look at them teeth, dog. Look at them teeth. You eat a lot of cheese with them teeth? The year of the rat was, a. Uh, he missed it. The year of the rat came and passed, man. What are you still doing here? I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first, just because it's spring, doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love struck baboons. Yeah, I fucking I don't get laid at all. As long Ugh. as I'm around, you students are gonna be pure as the driven snow. Bro, don't fucking go be going around telling students they're gonna be pure. Be professional. Now I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This goddamn transfer student. This sad sack's this been thrown from the big shit. city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's Man, garbage. He's fucking a piece of shit. I fucking hate him. You just met me, Moraoka. Mor Moron. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was. That's totally unprofessional. Tell him your name, this kid, and make it asshole. quick. Yeah, you calling me a loser? <phone rings> Bitch, you calling me a loser? Huh. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. Yeah, fuck you too. Now asshole. listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than Bro, one. You're sounding like a pervert and an asshole. And I you just better mentioned. not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. What, are you the fucking king of them, you fucking weirdo? But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. You need to chill, Every bro. time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals yeah. and your my places. And playing Pac-Man and, and drinking milkshakes and oh, fuck you guys. I fucking, I never got laid. I'm still a virgin. I'm fucking. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Wh huh? What? Yeah, what? sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. Piece of shit. You fucking asshole. <laughs> Hello, folks. He's the worst, huh? Hey, he totally sucks ass. Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. He fucking sucks. That guy sucks. <laughs> Fuck him. He's a fucking asshole. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Well, and then sucks. again, we're all in the same boat. I'll go to a different school. Fuck this place. Shut your traps! 
I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. God damn, you just mad because your fucking teeth are all fucked up, bro. And that yee yee ass haircut. <laughs> Look at that shit. I don't know. Will I be able to fit in here? We'll see. I made quite a splash my first day. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Attention, all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Uh -oh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. Jesus. He's seriously getting on my nerves. He's seriously getting on my fucking nerves. I fucking... Uh, you know what, ladies? I agree with you. I really agree with you. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. What? Oh, huh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Hmm. Actually, I heard that... Sounds like big city business. Are you serious? Hey, Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Uh-oh. Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights? Rainy oh. Nights. No, not yet. Sorry. Aw, uh, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. Oh, I repeat. Incident? What, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Bob on the fucking mic. Mm-hmm. Let's go take a look. We we were told specifically to stay put, ladies. What are you doing? We're gonna we're gonna get suspended. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Yeah. No, Why'd yeah, you come I'm going with us? home by myself. Yeah. Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, That's I said you say you, right? Chie. Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? I mean, I literally just got here today. Of course. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is Yukiko Amagi. Hello, Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. It's cool. It happens. Come it's on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. Oh, were well, you born I in the barn? I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Okay. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. Those nuts healed up, man. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just... Amazing to see. What? And what's he talking about? I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. What happened, man? What'd you do? See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. Oh. What did you do to my DVD? <laughs> he, 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 <laughs> oh my fucking god! You kicked him in the balls. What the? I can't believe this. It's completely Not the balls cracked. again. Oh, not the balls again. Oh. You just cracked his nuts. 
the DVD, I you know, it ain't cracked not you. too expensive. Critical hit to the nets. Yeah, bro, your nuts are just gone today, bro. You need to go home, uh, put some ice on them, right? put some Bengay on those nuts. <laughs> Make sure your nuts are okay before you come back to school. Get a letter from your doctor saying your nuts are hurt. Oh, Yukiko-san. Are you worried about oh, me? Yukiko-san. <laughs> He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. You just watch that man get kicked in the balls, man. Poor lady, poor, poor DD, poor nutsack. It's all bad. It's a, it's a bad situation. Hella nut pain. You should leave it. That's kind of rude. I mean, we just we just saw this man get kicked in the nuts. We should at least be like, hey, man, that's fucked up. She did that shit to you, bro. I know you broke her DVD, but that's fucked up. You're Yuki, right? Y you want to go hang out somewhere? Bro, that motherfucker, that motherfucker is creepy as fuck. And that motherfucker, you don't, that motherfucker, I would never talk to this man. I'm sure he's a fine fellow. Well, I don't know, man. He's kind of creepy. He kind of... I don't want to judge you too much, but... you give me bad vibes, man. What? Who, who are you? Jan All right, bro, okay. Now you're scaring, you're scaring her. That ain't cool. What's up with him? What school's he from? Oh, he's from a whole other school. Bro, what the fuck? Never mind that. Man? He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap okay. gets knocked out. A can of tap? No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? The Amagi challenge? Uh, so are, are you coming or not? Hey, bro, you've been awfully demanding. I, I'm not going. Fine! You need to chill, bro. Them some incel type well, activities. What did he want from me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. I don't know what that man was asking. He did not clarify at all. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? He's been Sheesh. creepy as fuck, though. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. That is pretty creepy. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Bro, your nuts have taken too many shots today, bro. Don't ride that bike. Man, Just you're walk. cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? Oh, goddamn. I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Yeah, bro. Pimps down. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all! I don't like the undertones um, of that. I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. What are you fucking staring at for? Ain't nothing even really happened, bro. This ain't a fucking show. Oh. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. That's cool. Though there is something That's from pretty. Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. The pride of Inaba. Huh? I'd like to see it. Though. It's just an old inn. I might stay a night. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. This chick's kind of goofy, man. I like her though. She's cool. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me, you think Yukiko's cute, huh? I think so. She's cute. Oh, I knew it! Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kinda weird, huh? Different strokes for different folks. She's smart. Come on, stop it. 
You shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Hey, I don't care. Either way. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, GA. <laughs> Ladies, where's this conversation going? Sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? There ain't nothing going on in New York City. <laughs> so that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... What? Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? Huh? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait. Uh oh. What did she just say? A dead body? Yo, Dojima, what's up, man? Hey, what are you doing here? Just passing by. Yeah, you just we're just passing by. Huh. I should have figured that had happened. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's how it works sometimes. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. Oh, uh, well, we didn't You really know this guy? Really I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. Appreciate it. Thank but you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. What's going on, man? What's going on? Oh, shit. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> <sighs> go wash your face. Poor guy. We're going to go around and gather information. <laughs> was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko, why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, it, neighbor, let's do our something, best. Something, Juness. Something, something, Juness. The two of them left. We decided to head away from the crime scene. Junes, what's up, man? You must be a student of uh, Yasogami High. It would be terrible if anything happened to you, so maybe you should hurry on home. What are you talking about, dude? I heard something happen, but what? I've never seen this town so filled with policemen and unrest. I'm starting to, it's, it's starting to scare me a little, so I just called my husband to come pick us up. I said, get the fuck over here, husband. Shopping child, I'm waiting for my dad. He said he's going to come get us. Well, he fucking better. Your mom seems like a real firecracker. Elevator is currently being expected. Okay, well, then you don't to do here. Uh, yeah. Of a 
variety of product lines and shops. Friendly looking old lady sits behind the counter. That song is going hard. Chinese dinner I am. This is a Chinese restaurant. You smell the appetizer scent. There's a bulletin board. Look at job openings. Starting a job openings. Look at the post. Sami Gawa Boji. Isuzu Hiragi. It's a poster of a famous Inca scene. What's up, man? Didn't I tell you at school? You're supposed to head straight home! Still, where did the store's owners go? I can't leave here until I talk to them. I'm a fucking dick. I thought I would have some business. I just wanted to keep it up. Check what's going on. It's a little unbelievable to see so many things from this town. It's never happened before. Can I talk to this fella? I heard that there was some kind of accident. I can't believe that could happen in a small town like ours. I'm so scared. I don't even want to be outside. I should get home quickly too. This song's gonna be fucking stuck in my head, dude. The sign says Ichikawa Electronics, but the shutters are closed. There's an old notice that reads, Going out of business sale. Uh, 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 uh. I like uh, the color schemes in this town. Everything's very gray. It's very like pretty, like countryside. And, like the streets are kind of groggy. Like I know that feeling so well. It looks great. I like it a lot. Yes, that's right. I'm in front of the store owned by the parents. Yes, I understand. I'll get to it now. Huh? No, no, no. I like I explained it. It's a beverage vending machine. However, all the drinks are sold out. There's nothing for me to buy. That sucks. I love buying these guys. Drinks are vending machines. There's a bicycle store, but the shutters are closed. There's no sign the shop is closed. I guess I better just keep my fucking ass home. doing some work on the farm and the police came around to question me and it's such a dangerous world these days I can't even relax when I go out shopping oh that's a different lady and I was going to buy some tiny salt tomato for dinner tonight too what now oh that's no problem here you're gonna have some that I harvested from my garden it's no big thing anyone can start a home garden as long as they have some onions and to work with you take that spot next to the dojima place for example that's more than enough land to make a fine garden. Oh my, I think so. If they start a home garden too, does that mean I can look forward to them sharing the vegetables they grow? <laughs> right here, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna like, I don't know, let's get some flowers, man. Right? Let's go inside. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Does he just leave you alone here? What are you like, fucking seven? Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River oh, in Inaba. Not in town. 
this be the incident you heard about? The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi oh, Yamano, man. a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. Oh, the initial fuck. results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have oh, revealed... <laughs> the, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! <sighs> It'll be alright. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. That's a fucked up way to go. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress. And plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Jesus. It seems that the local TV station's announcer was found dead near the Osogami High School campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Her affair with the local councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. <gasps> oh, it's Juness. Juness. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation every day. Every fucking day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at Good your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Yeah, let's do it. Your Juness. You memorized it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. That's quite a skill. That's good. Bring her spirits up. Bring her spirits up. She must like that fucking quiz show, man. Every day is great at your Jonas. Oh god damn. You poor Someone. bastard. Someone! In the dumpster. You poor getting stuck in trash cans, <laughs> getting kicked on that bastard. Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. Yeah, I am. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Yosuke. <laughs> Say, did you hear about the Where'd incident from okay. yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. That's fucked, man. I think it was some kind of warning. There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Might be right. Sounds like a murder. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Sounds like then a Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. Nuts. <laughs> Zingers. Be quiet, you idiots. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? And I'll be going especially hard on any morons that are curious about the murder. You got it? Now get your books out. You listen to the lecture. Your knowledge isn't. I would not be to sit there and listen to that fucking asshole. I'd be reading my textbook like a real one. So, are you getting used to this place? Yeah. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> there isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. It's called quiet.
quiet. The air is clean. The food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? The local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. <laughs> like that's anything special, huh? Bro, people literally go to go to Texas. Everybody's grilling steaks. And ain't nothing unless it's wack you. That's something. I know a place where you can get it cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. Are you offering Wagyu beef, Yosuke? What about me, huh? No apologies? You're a brat. My trial of the dragon? Is that Bruce Lee? <sighs> you always come around when I'm talking about food. <laughs> oh, How bad are you, thick, bro. Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the end today anyway. What? Oh, come on. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Yes. Do what you gotta do. Oh, well. We should get going, too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? I told you, man. I hope those wallets are thick, man. She ain't gonna let you get off. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here. God damn. This lady is unappeasable. She is pissed off. You have pissed her off, man. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. It'd be like that sometimes. Let's Still, go. We're at Whataburger. That's no reason to take us to your place. Or what a burger. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up, and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Ah, uh, a Whataburger family. You can be very proud of it. Very proud of your Whataburger affiliation. Here, this is to welcome you to town. Thanks, man. Sadonaka, yours is on me, too. Yeah, I know. Damn, girl. Damn, girl! conversation became animated over small talk. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. It'd be like that. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, uh... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> Juness is like a Walmart, huh? Everybody in town, everybody in the small town get excited when the Walmart shows up. Hey, it's Saki-senpai. Saki-senpai? Sorry, be right back. She Yosuke's girlfriend? <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. Tell her to hook that shit up. I think she's working here part-time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. Saki What's Kanishi. up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh, madam, you wound me. Madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm You're just really trying to put the tired. moves on her right now. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. Listen, baby, if you got any need to talk, you just take your head on my shoulder. <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. You maybe got <sighs> two points. Why did I leave school here. early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Are you the transfer student? Oh, <laughs> did you hear about me already? Not it must much. be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? Oh, you from I don't city? see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Oh, you mean him? Not necessarily. Cause he trying to get 
a girlfriend. He really, he really lonely. He's getting kicked in the balls, and the girl is just his his mat game is just low. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. There. That's not true. Nah, he's a great guy. Uh, that's not true. Yeah, that's not true. Well, uh, that's, not true. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you had me going there, senpai. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Thus is the daily grind in the capitalistic system. Oh, uh, senpai? <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. You did your she best. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Ooh, oh, you can brother zone. You don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family run liquor store, and the scion of the invading chain. Ooh. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Really, Romeo and Juliet type situation, huh? Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? Ooh. You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off alone. Exactly at midnight on a rainy night. Exactly at midnight on a While rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And mm. they say that person's your soulmate. What? For a second I thought you Sounds were actually like going bullshit. to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Not really. Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. I mean, I'll have to go back all that and aside, forth, back and forth. that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Definitely. Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Jeez. You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. What are you trying to tell me? You heard the rumor about the Midnight Channel, where one can see one soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe we should try it out tonight. <sighs> Another dinner alone with Nanako. Did your father call? No. He always says he will. Broken promises. Oh! He's home! What's up, dude? <sighs> what a day. Dojima! I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? Not really, no. No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Man focused on his job. Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. And we can see that man's eyebrows all the way from over here. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead no body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. Hey, I ain't saying that she, the girl killed that man, but, or killed that woman, but that is a distinct possibility. I would name her as a suspect. Seemed like she got some pool. When Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with Councilman Secretary. The man's wife seemed to be Misuzu Hiragi, an Inca singer. Could the incident be tied to the lover's quarrel? The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, mm. we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Oh, God. <sighs> an interview with a kid? 
<laughs> Where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Yo, calm down. Uh, um. This female student's face and voice are indistinct. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> Well, you feel like you've seen her before, somewhere. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? This man is asking That's... a whole lot of fucking bullshit. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki Kamishi Yasuke. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Is she older? Many store owners are raising school? concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. <laughs> it really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. Oh, loads of prank calls, though. Who would take credit for the crime? So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? Jesus. We'll be right back mean, after these messages. Happen, like, calm your nips, bro. Calm those nips. At Juness, every day is customer goes, appreciation goes, day. Goes. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Get in touch with our products. Every day is great at, at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Yeah. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together? So <laughs> no? Oh, he's, he's totally out. <laughs> He's had a long day. Jeez. Just get that boy a pillow. When I go to bed, I'll wake up dad and tell him to go to his own room. Monaco's still watching TV. Of course she wants it. He loves it. She loves that shit. Dojima's sleeping. You should leave him alone. Yeah, we should. He's got a lot going on. Uh, is there food in the room? Nothing catches your eye. I should have ate that fucking rice. Man. Fucking thinking about that fucking rice. Because it isn't used very often in the kitchen. Ah, okay. Alright, well, I'm going to have to wrap it up here. Because um, it's, I think it's been about an hour since I've started playing. Uh, I'm done for the day. I will catch y'all folks next time. Peace. It's been real. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm going to keep doing it. Alright, thank you.